Okay, and welcome back to Let's Play Ultima Underworld. This is episode 14. Where we left off, we had found Garamond's bones, and we are now making our way back to... I suppose we rebury them? I was about to say plant them, and realised that that sounded a bit tactless. So, onwards. And hopefully we've seen the last of the jump-oriented puzzles forever. Because now, once we come back to that level, we just really do need to dive into the into the lava and paddle across to the center of the island. So the center of the level. Well, but of course, if I knew where I was going, this would be a lot easier. I think I just actually went in a circle. So we are still at the disadvantage of not having a map. Which doesn't sound like much until you really turn your mind to just what a maze these levels are. So talk amongst yourselves, I'm just going to keep running into shit. This sounds like a possibility. No. Had my hopes up there. And I know I got lost in this same area, I think it was two episodes ago. Or in real terms, last night when I recorded two episodes ago. I am hoping to finish the game in one sitting. Whether I get there or not. Holy crap, that was an actual circle there. Aha, aha! No. Oh. Okay, follow the left hand wall. And back around. There we go. Now, I don't need to go back there. Oh, I would like to get up there. No, that was optimistic. But we can get around. Just like that. Go away, tense music. There we are. Uh, back up to level 5, where we had originally been storing our artifacts until I left them at the the nice big ornate double doors on level 8 Ah, oh, fail. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Right, we're going to actually load where we were because I need to visit the prisons here and I don't feel like backtracking more than I absolutely have to. So, the reason I need to visit the prison is that one of the prisoners in one of the cells that was locked with Tybal's keys has a photograph of Tom. Now, I don't think I spoke with her before, but there's an NPC named Judy in that room I was where I just loaded on level 5. Um, and she had a thing for Tom. I don't know if they're mother and son, or if they were romantically involved or what, but frankly I really don't want to go there. Um, but she, she, she misses him and she would like a photograph. And there's a... Uh, that actually had me, when I very first played through this game, that had me scratching my head for hours, because on level 4, where, I don't know if you remember, there was uh, just a random stray bandit on level 4. Um, 
in in the same corridors as we had a shrine and the the gentleman Zack who sold us the taper of sacrifice. Um, in that same area there, there's a, a scratching in the wall that says Tom loves Judy, and I spent forever um, trying to well forever replaying the game at the start, trying to persuade that gentleman to come back with me on the uh, on the assumption that he was Tom. And when that didn't work, I thought I had to take his bones or his sword or or something to Judy. I didn't realize that there was more to level 7. Admittedly, I must have been what 15 at the time when I finally got that far through this game. And I am wandering in circles again. Holy crap. Okay, okay, okay. There we no, no, that's not it. Nor is that. Okay, this is crap. All oh, because I don't have my fucking map. Really annoyed that I don't have the map. Like that was just such a stupid bug, and I still don't know if that was fraps or just the natural bug of the game, but I'm sorry, I do need to look up a map, or we're going to spend the next hour just me friggin' running around in circles here, so... I'll be okay, so... I really can't make heads or tails of the map I have in front of me, because I don't have a marker. I don't have a, a, an I am here marker on it, I suppose. And all the rooms look much the same. So what we're going to do is find our point of reference, which is Tyball's little domain. Which I've walked past a hundred times and now I can't seem to find again. Because reasons. We're going to take this path. Which leads there. And gets me there. Oh my god. The narrowness of the mines really makes me long for I have the beholder type grid based movement. It'll be a lot quicker to navigate. Okay, so. Tyble. Now if I'm right, this room will be fountain. Yep. So, we want to go straight and this way this way this way this way this way through here and basically as far on the right each time as we can and there we go and we'll save our game because laziness Nope, I'm not going to have that. Oh, I do want to go this way. Okay. There's the chain to open that now. That did a thing. Was it the thing we want? It was. I suppose we could have just gone into the drink as well. Fine, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Stupid bat. Oh, you guys are still here? Now the prison was through here. Doing my best to avoid falling into these holes because jumping
what I'm also minded to do when we get to the the prison area is frigging end everything that breathes. Just out of spite for jerking me around like they did. And that's where the Shadow Beast was. Locked, huh? Huh. I suppose there's some lava I can push you into, you little scum-sucking prick. Okay, so... There be a shrine. That's the Great Stair. And that's the way bypassing the prison, but we want the prison, so we're going in. And now this time, we head around here. And it should be this key again. Nope, this one. Bolinard. Heh, what art thou doing here? I am attempting to save the world from a powerful demon. I know not how to help thee defeat this demon, but I would help thee any other way I can. Um... Hast thou any helpful information at all? Every little bit helps. There's the picture of Tom. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we can't actually view the map on the back of that photo, but we have the photo. Who's in here? A mage, Gerstang. Ah, so thou must be the one who has vanquished Tybal. Good, good, I sensed his passing, but feared I would die here forgotten. Well, rest easy now, he's gone. Gone? Yes, I imagine he is, but his malice lingers, does it not? Well, that's my problem. What brought thee here? Searching for the key of truth. I too seek the key. A noble quest indeed. Um, seek Lomo. Folanay. Now I want to take the spelling of that down because I never remember it. Write that down. Fol and A. Pretty sure the next word is like Fanlo or something. Um, thank thee. And again, our torch has run out. Time being, we might as well leave that the active spell. Finally, Smondon. I should tell thee nothing, thy dominion of Tybal. Does Tybal's blood upon my weapon fall? It's about to be yours. Of course, I have not seen thee in the ranks of his lackeys. How may I help thee? Well, you're easy. Um, how may I help thee? Thank thee. So, we now have a secret wall in here. No, that's the one from that other door. So, back we go. But we don't need that pendant. I'm going to hang on to it anyway. Now, what I want was that doorway with the, the secret tunnel out.
There we go. And that's where I want to go. Oh, that was terrible. So we want the key of courage, the key of... I think the other one is the key of love, and then we got the key of fortitude. I think. Oh no, this must be the, the key of fortitude here. Die, foul reaper. Oh, another one. So we don't want that way. Oh, what a fire elemental. And that's him gone. Ouch. Well, so much for leaving light as the active spell. Bit of an all stars this last half of the game. Now we're on the fourth level now. Satisfying. And we're poisoned. Mildly, we can walk that off. What does have my attention though is I believe this is the level with a couple of those mages on it. Where we actually have to fight hostile mages. Ragged scroll. What's the scroll of? Flame wind. It's a wand of flame wind. We use the scroll then. And a wisp. Now that's not a bug that had that, that dialogue continued on from the last wisp I met. If you recall, they indicated a collective existence. Restore mana, why not? Another 
trouble here isn't the individual magi. They're pretty squishy themselves, as you'd expect of a mage. The trouble is that there are, there are two of them. And while you're busy with one, the other ones, they're normally fireballing you. This one must have forgotten how to mage. Okay, that's pretty much the the key up there. There should be another one through here. Another way up there. Gonna save because I don't remember when I last saved. And then I think I may just take the, the, the cheap way out and let something kill me so I can just resurrect. Battle axe of major accuracy. Don't care. But I think it'll be quicker to resurrect. Oh yep, this is the key here. Um, resurrect on level 1. Oh, there is another Shadow Beast, and he's in here. I'm um, quicker to resurrect on level 1 than walk our way back around and... etc. We have to survive this, though. That door is locked. Pretty sure this one isn't, but has... all sorts of mon monsters behind it. Yep, there's our Shadow Beast. Two of them. stand here and just swing my sword, and if they get caught, it's their own fault. That's one. that we need to open that other door. That should be a yep. Iron Golem, is he hostile? Yes. I've gotten a critical hit then. So, there is part one of our tripartite key. Um, yeah, I think it will be easier to let something kill me. Um, trouble is, what? Those lurkers would take forever to do the job. Let's see if there's something along the way that can do it for us. Otherwise, I'll just dive into the lava, I suppose, on level 7. Still be quicker than walking the whole way. Now, rather than jump, because we all know my views on jumping in this game, we'll just take this little ramp up here. I suppose I can... No, I can't just hug the wall. That now. No. Oh, 
Okay. That medallion really does stuff all. So. Managed to avoid the lava completely. There we go. Now let's have something to eat. We must be hungry. Now there should be torches down here. Please be torches down here. I know my way around this level anyway, so... Potions of stuff I didn't care about two episodes ago, so I probably am not going to care any more about them now. I do care about my apparent inability, though, to shimmy against a wall. Now, this way... up here and I'm pretty sure that, that pathway is still boned so we're not going to bother with it. Now there should be a pouch along here with some incense. I don't terribly care about incense, but there would have been some torches with them. There's iron wit, which means I'm back where I started. Now that quest that the, the mage, whose name I've, I've already forgotten, gave us um, to go and speak the word Folone to Ilomo in the Sears area leads to us going and fetching a book um, with that word in the title. The books in that library where we had the, the Tome of Duplicity. Um, and I'm going to... Yes! Torches! Ah! Oh, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where did they bounce off to? Torches! Oh, easy come, easy go. Sadness. Where'd they go? Seriously? There they are. One. We'll throw the other two in our pack, just in case. Now I don't get what the point of the amulets in this game is really. here, we'll just visit the trolls briefly and see if that mantra works on any shrine. No. None of my skills improved, but I got part two of the key. Now part two is the key of truth. See? We have a two-part key. Now we just need to take this to Judy, and she'll whinge that her son is dead, and we'll feign sorrow, and we'll get the next key, and more importantly then we will save her sorry butt. Now, in the context of that, I don't know if we actually have to res Garamond, but I'm going to, in the spirit of a let's play. Because I think I've probably fast-tracked enough as it is in in this this series. That and we're making great time. Ah, level five. I think this was a time before the game first started to bug. 
There we are, Garamon. Thou hast done well. And now that my bones are at last laid at and now that my bones are at last at rest, I can speak freely to thee, but my spirit cannot rest while this power remains. We must open a gate near where the foul creature my brother summoned lies bound. We must return it to the plain from whence it came. How can we open such a gate? For this I will need a great deal of magical energy. This will be no gentle luring such as brought thee here, but an unimaginable vortex of interplanar energy. Where can we find such powerful magic? Tybal's orb would be perilous to use even if it were intact. Yeah, about that. Um, the power we tap must be carefully chosen. As you may have guessed, I am a little, a little out of touch with thy world. I had hoped thou might provide an answer. What what might what be the qualifications? It would be best if the source were absolutely pure. My brother found the dangers in tapping powers whose source thou knowest not. And it would be best if Britannia herself were somewhere in, somehow involved. He's basically saying we need to use the talismans. Now... There we go. If all eight talismans be thrust into the vol volcanoes more one at a time, I could ride the wave of such power to open the vortex. Ah, uh, thou art wise as well as valorous. Wilt thou make such a sacrifice? I though it pains me sorely to lose tools such as these. I will make my way there. Alright, we're on level 5, and we've got the friendly ghost of Garamon up there. With that in mind, maybe we did need to, to resurrect him. I'm not sure what would happen if we tried to proceed without. It's almost tempting to try it anyway. I might do that for shits and giggles in my own time. What I might do is, um, in the future, if I do succumb to the allure of DX Tori, is re-record this um, LP afresh. And put those challenges back on the table um, and see if the game holds up better with a, a different recording package to to Fraps. Because I do love this game, and it really is depressing that. That Fraps possibly has been what has ruined the experience towards the end here. It's not a complete write off, I guess. Ah, uh, Tom, is it thee? The hope in her eyes dies as she sees your face. Ah, oh, screw you too, old bag. Um, who is Tom? What happened to Tom? Yeah, and I were walking here down by the lava. Tom was to ask his master, Lord Cabarrus, to bless our marriage. Okay, well that answers the uh, question before as to how they knew each other. He just gave me this ring. A hole of gold, he says to me, with a plug of fair flesh. Oh dear, the image. I really could have done without that. And then one of them headless creatures came running. And brave Tom would fight with, with it. Holy crap, she can't speak. The both of them went into the lava. Army ah, Tom, I have sat here all these long years. Some of the folk nearby take pity, bring me things to eat. But Nero will stay and watch me, watch with me for my Tom. I will sit with thee. Good day to thee. I have a picture for you. There we go. And there is the third part of our key. Come on. There we go. The key of infinity. Now. If only I could jump. 
Ah, oh, helps to be pushing the J key, I suppose, as opposed to the F. There are some pitfalls of playing in a dark room, I suppose. So a benefit, of course, being I don't have anything reflecting off of my screen, which is probably the most annoying thing on the planet. Hello, random mage. We don't care about you. We're off to finish the game. Oh yeah, and you'll probably be burnt to death in the ensuing volcanic eruption. Funsies. Or mages. You're all going to die! And level 7. Now, take off the Ring of Leap. Really doesn't matter if it's on or off at this point. None of that was magical. Okay, now I think we wanted to go right as far as we could coming out, so let's go left going back. Bingo. And here we should be on level 8. And we can just pop down into the drink. Bitch, seriously? I am going to end you so hard. Yeah, you gutless little prick. Dish it out, but you can't take it. Just as he swings at the wall. Another uh. Okay, now what I want to do here now that that's open, we can see the slasher of veils down here. Now, can we attack him? We can, and going about it this way is frankly certain death. Do we have a scroll of time stop still? There we go. what we're going to do is simply drag and drop each of these into the lava and then we will yeah end the game Oh great, so we have to go and chase that one then. I think my right mouse button might actually be on its way out based on that. Now, if you recall at the start of the game... Oh wow. We're getting ruined. 
Um, if you recall at the start of the game, we had that that orb. Now we're peering through. We could see a number of paths. We knew the green path led home, etc. Yep, we're taking the green path. And for a world that seemed to suck all but two of our hit points before, we seem to be doing remarkably well now. One hit point. I think this might take a couple of tries. But of course, next time I'm not just going to swing blindly at the friggin' demigod boss monster. No, here we are. You dash down the mountainside toward the sea, mere steps ahead of the lava. Diving into the ocean, you make for a lone boat. <clears throat> you are helped aboard by the guards, Captain Corwin. Thou hast earned my gratitude and more. Were it not for thee, my daughter tells me would have we would have lost more than her delightful company. Truly I was a fool for doubting thee. Canst thou forgive a worried father? Oh he, yeah, he, he knows he's getting stabbed. Thou art the greatest hero ever to come to Britannia. When I returned to the surface using the amulet of travel and warned my father, father, we thought all was lost. Thou hast accomplished what none else could and saved our land. Swiftly the ship sails away from the wreckage of Cabarrus' dreams. last you are asleep. For the last three nights since your triumphant return home, you have been too excited to sleep. Just as you are drifting off, Garriman appears. How to the Avatar, thou hast earned thy rest. I wish to thank thee for saving Britannia and repairing my brother's disastrous mistake. I regret that I was not able to help thee flee the island. Yeah, about that. But I was marshalling my last powers to open a gate for the inhabitants of the abyss. They are now settling in a place called Destard. I hope we get to check that place out one day. Farewell, and may Britannia never again be in need of be in such need of thy aid. Visit next time as honored guest, not savior. Which is more or less how the second game starts. Congratulations, you have just won Ultima Underworld, the Stygian Abyss. Thank you for playing. Please call Origin. We would like to personally congratulate you. I'd like to know if anyone in the last 15 years has actually called them when they finished the game. And I'd love to know what response you get, especially given that it's now EA that own this, that own the game. Oh, and we lost our stats screen, that makes me sad. Um, but there we have it, that was Ultima Underworld. Um, aside from glitchiness toward the end there and, and, and jumping related but hurt that was not completely unenjoyable it was actually quite fun um, thank you for watching and from here I expect my next let's play would be oblivion so I will see you all there until then cheers